Hey everyone, Teo here. This is the artist comparison review for the 11.6 inch OnePlus Pad with the OnePlus Stylo. And this is the 11 inch Xiaomi Pad 6 with the Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2. These two tablets were released this year in 2023. And in this video, I want to talk about the drawing experience. So I have already made a full review for each tablet. So if you want to learn the ins and outs for each tablet, just watch those full reviews. In this video, I just want to compare the drawing experience and also the drawing performance. The OnePlus Pad is US $479. The Pen is $99. So we are looking at a total of around $580. US The Xiaomi Pad 6 together with the Pen is around US $400 from AliExpress. So we are looking at $580 versus $400. And in terms of value for money, I would just say get the Xiaomi Pad 6 with the Pen because $180 savings is significant. The other thing you have to understand is the OnePlus Pad is available with 128 gigs of storage and the model with 256 gigs of storage is incredibly difficult to find. But with the Xiaomi Pad 6, you can find a model with 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage very easily. Let's talk very quickly about the physical design and the look. Now both tablets look fantastic. The display on the OnePlus Pad is obviously bigger due to the size and also the aspect ratio. So this is 11.6 inch LCD. The aspect ratio is 7 by 5 and the resolution uh, is sharp. I'll put the resolution on top because I cannot remember the resolution. And uh, Xiaomi Pad 6 is 11 inches. The aspect ratio is 16 by 10 and the visuals are sharp as well. And this is also using LCD. The visual quality of both displays are look identical to me. Both displays are vibrant and bright. I personally prefer the aspect ratio on the OnePlus Pad and that to me is the main selling point. But I don't think it's worth paying the extra $180 for just the larger display and this aspect ratio because as a price sensitive consumer, <laughs> I would go with the one that provides more value for money. So this is how the drawing looks in vertical orientation without any palettes by the side. And if we have palettes by the side, you can see this space left over is just way too vertical. So this is still, I would say, usable if you want to use this to draw with in portrait orientation with a palette by the side. But usually when I'm drawing with tablets in portrait orientation or vertical orientation, I will try to just hide everything. By the way, if the colors on these two tablets look different, that's due to my camera angle. So depending on the camera angle, there is slight color shift, but the viewing angles for these two tablets um, they are good. So there is minimal color shift except for the slight drop in brightness due to the glass I would say. And the glass is very reflective, very glossy on both because there is no anti-reflective coating. Both displays are laminated so there is no gap between the glass and the LCD. So when you are drawing there will be no gap between the line and the pen tip. Now the Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2 has a plastic tip and it's quite smooth on the glass but it's not slippery. The OnePlus Stylo also has a plastic tip and this is smoother and a bit more slippery. Anyway, uh, when drawing with the pens without any matte screen protectors, it's just going to take some time to get used to. And I have already gotten used to drawing without the matte screen protector. Let's compare the tablets to an A5 size sketchbook that I have here. So the OnePlus Pad is bigger than this sketchbook by this much here at the top and this much here at the side. On the 11 inch tablet, um, the height seems to be the same, but the tablet is wider by maybe this much. Anyway, both tablets provide a good amount of space for drawing and both tablets are very comfortable for um, 
drawing. You can have your pen, sorry, you can have your hand on the display and it's not going to block the artwork. So you still can see a good amount of uh, artwork or canvas space to draw with. Same applies um, with the one plus pad, but obviously you get more surface area to rest your palm if you want to. The one plus stylo is US $99 and uh, Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2 is around US $50 to $60 on AliExpress. So this pen from Xiaomi is more affordable. Both pens are powered by battery and both pens require Bluetooth for pairing with the tablet. There are no shortcut buttons by the side of the OnePlus stylo, but there is this tapping shortcut, which unfortunately is not customizable for many of the, or all of the drawing apps. So the tapping shortcut is just for the note taking app from OnePlus. And on the Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2, there are two side buttons, which are also not customizable for many, if not all the drawing apps. So these two shortcut buttons are just for the Xiaomi OS and for the default note-taking app from Xiaomi. The plastic pen tips look identical. And as mentioned earlier, the OnePlus Stylo has a smoother tip. So this is more slippery. Both pens are comfortable to hold. They both have matte textured surfaces and they support tilt, pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. To charge and pair the OnePlus Stylo, you place it or attach it by the side of the tablet. And to charge and pair the Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2, you place it or attach it by the side of the tablet as well. The magnets for both tablets are quite strong. There is slight movement with the pen tip on the OnePlus Pen, but it's minimal movement, so this can be considered a firm pen tip. When I tap on the glass, the tapping sound is louder or sharper. Let me switch over to the Xiaomi Pen. There is slight movement with the pen tip as well, but it's minimal movement and this I would say is a firm pen tip too. So if I tap on the glass, the tapping sound is dampened. So this feels and sounds nicer. And now for some line test comparison, this is the OnePlus Pad. The brush I'm using is Manga Inker and there is no smoothing applied. So let's draw some diagonal lines. I can see slight jitter, but I would say the line is quite straight. Initial activation force is very low, so this pen is quite sensitive. Okay, the lines, they look straight enough for me. Let's have a look at the thin and thick lines. So let's see if we can go back to having the thin lines and we are able to get those thin lines. There is slight wobble, but it's not that noticeable. Let's see if we can draw dots. Mm, nope. So I will have to tap and drag the pen slightly. And now I'm using the dry inker brush. So this is the thin line, thick line. And let me tilt the pen by the side to get the broad strokes, the smudges. One issue I have with the OnePlus Stylo is I can get the thin and thick lines with pressure, but sometimes while drawing the line and I tilt the pen, I cannot get the broad strokes. So see, now when I tilt the pen here, I don't get the broad strokes, but earlier it worked. So now we have thin lines again, and now when I tilt the pen, I don't get the broad strokes. So there is performance inconsistency. If you want to get the broad strokes, yes, you can tilt the pen, but if you hold it vertically, okay, now it works. Let's tilt it down again. Now you can see it doesn't work. And now let's look at the diagonal lines for the Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2. Initial activation force is low. Let's have a closer look at the line. I can see some diagonal line wobble and jitter with the slow lines. 
Yeah, so there is diagonal line wobble and jitter. And this is without any smoothing. I believe I'm holding the pen quite firmly without shaking. But I can see the diagonal line wobble. Let's look at the line transition from thin to thick. So here you can see noticeable wobble. Okay. The line here is thicker compared to the line at the start, so I wasn't able to get the very thin lines again. So the OnePlus pen is actually more sensitive compared to the Xiaomi pen. Let's draw some dots. Sometimes the dots don't come out, so I have to tap and drag slightly. But this is better than the OnePlus pen. And this is the dry inker brush. These are the thin lines, thick lines, and we have the broad strokes. So let's have the thin lines, thick lines, and tilt the pen halfway, and this works. Thick lines, thin lines, thick again. We have the broad strokes again. Let's start with the broad strokes, then the thick lines, and then the thin lines. Yep, works fine. I'm not sure if you noticed, but the white of the canvas look different. So the white here looks cooler. Anyway, you can adjust the color mode or color temperature from the settings on both tablets. So the OnePlus pen is more sensitive and more accurate. There is still slight diagonal line wobble or jitter, but it's not as obvious compared to what you can see here. This is very obvious. So if you want to draw straight lines, chances are you will have to increase the smoothing using software. The OnePlus pen is, from what I can see, more sensitive and more accurate. However, there is the issue with the tilt here. So when you're drawing, it's not possible for you to change the angle of the pen to get broader strokes. You can only rely on pressure while you're drawing. But with the Xiaomi pen, you can have uh, thin, thick, and extra broad. Let me draw something really quickly with the OnePlus pen. This is just a building. So this is my normal drawing speed. Okay, I can see some wobble, probably due to my technique if I draw like this, where my hand is not very stable. So if I draw with normal speed, um, the lines look straight enough for me. Okay, there is some latency. I can definitely see some latency, but it's not too bad. Okay, oops, see the wobbly line? That is due to technique. So if I turn it like this and draw the line, okay, this is straighter. Yeah, I will have to rotate the canvas to draw the straighter lines. There is latency, yep, there is latency. Okay, but it's not too bad. Let's erase this to get some windows. So this is the pen without any smoothing. And the performance is pretty good, I would say. Okay, so, um, oops, the perspective is off. Let me just draw this long line here. Yeah, so I'm able to draw the long line without um, any issues. I don't really have any issues with um, the diagonal, oops, the diagonal line wobble here. So my only issue with this uh, pen is for drawing. Uh, it's just how well smooth it is on the glass surface. I will be very hesitant to use a screen protector because that's going to affect the image quality of this display. Um, as for pressure sensitivity, um, let's try and draw some very thin lines here. Yeah, it's okay. It works fine, I guess. I think the Samsung pen is just more sensitive. 
Okay, so this is just a very quick sketch just to show you where the, the diagonal lines affect drawing. And I've used the pen without any smoothing. There is no correction here. So it looks okay. And now let's switch over to the Xiaomi pen. And yes, I can see wobble and jitter already, even for straight lines, it seems. Straight as in vertical lines. Okay, let's have a look here. Yeah, so this line here is not as straight compared to the line I could get with the OnePlus pad. Yeah, this is not that straight. But don't write off this tablet yet. You can actually increase the correction, in this case the smoothness. Uh, I have increased that to 5 out of 20 just to see if I can make the lines smoother. Okay, the lines are now smoother, but I can also see more latency. Yeah, the lines are definitely smoother now. This pen tip is, um, I would say, has more resistance on the glass surface, so it actually feels nicer to draw with this pen on the glass surface compared to the OnePlus Stylo. So far, I have not used uh, much pressure yet. I'm just drawing with very minimal pressure. Let's draw this uh, windows again. Oops, let's close up the line. Now the cursor tracking for both pens is quite accurate. So the cursor is always directly beneath the pen tip. Let's expand that by three. Oops, we need to uh, close up the gap here and use the paint bucket again. Okay, now it works. Okay, this needs to be thicker. Okay, the lines are straight, but these are vertical lines. So let's try the, uh, let's create some diagonal lines. So I'm gonna draw a bit slower now. Notice how the tablet moves on my table because it's not on a stand. Okay, there is slight wobble, but because I'm drawing really slowly. So if I draw faster, the lines are straighter. And now let's draw the long windows again. So this is going to be a very long diagonal line. And it looks straight enough to me. There is noticeable latency due to the increased smoothness of the pen. And this, um, the long lines, they look all right. Okay, my dimensions are a bit off. Oops, not that straight. Undo, undo. Now you may notice that my palm is actually not on the display, uh, but palm rejection actually works fine with both tablets. It's just that when I have the tablet on my table, I can have my palm on the table. Okay, looks fine. Um, let's go with the eraser again. One, um, it's not that thick. Let me undo. Let's see if I can press down harder. Yeah, I can press down harder to get the thicker lines. Let's have a side-by-side -side comparison. So this was drawn with the OnePlus pad with a brush without any smoothing. And this is the Xiaomi. Pad 6 with a brush with 5 out of 20 smoothing. So the diagonal lines here look kind of straight. They actually look very straight to me. There is no noticeable wobble or jitter. But you can see there is wobble here for this uh, diagonal lines due to my technique. But here you can see the lines are straight 
again. There is some variation with the thin and thick lines, um, but if you want more variation, you have to be more conscious at applying the various uh, pressure. This is the Xiaomi tablet, and um, this was the initial line drawn without any smoothing. So you can see there is the wobble and the jitter. Mm, here as well, and uh, here as well, and even this vertical line, which should not have jitter, but there is this um, wobble and jitter. But after I apply the smoothing, um, the lines are straighter, like noticeably straighter, at the expense of adding more uh, latency. So here you can see it's very straight. And here as well, very straight. Um, with this app, this app is Midibank Paint. This app actually has noticeable latency, so if you add even more latency, um, you can see really see the line trying to catch up with the pen tip. For drawing purposes, um, it's still alright because unless you have to draw like long lines like this most of the time, then yeah, sure, you can see very noticeable latency. Here, yep, this is even more latency compared to the OnePlus pad due to the increased smoothing. But uh, for drawing, I don't really have any issues with the latency. I know some people mind the latency, but for me, I don't draw that fast, so it's okay. Here's another sketch drawn with the Xiaomi tablet, and I can see the lines are quite smooth and straight, uh, even for the diagonal lines, because I applied 5 over 20 uh, smoothing. The steps for smoothing is up to 20, so I applied 5. And you can see the lines, they are quite straight. Here as well, here as well. Um, yeah, the diagonal lines, they are quite straight everywhere. And if there is any very noticeable uh, wobble, that's actually due to my technique. But most of the lines are actually quite straight. I don't have any issues with the wobble or jitter after adding uh, smoothing. So there's definitely wobble and jitter with the Xiaomi tablet and pen, and it's visible. So it's not a deal breaker in the sense that you can increase the brush smoothing to remove the jitter and the wobble. If you create character art, it's not so much of an issue, but if you like draw backgrounds, if you need to draw straight lines, diagonal lines, uh, architecture, anything that requires straight lines, um, you will need to increase the smoothness of the brush at the expense of adding more latency. Is that a deal breaker for me? No, I don't think so, um, because, I mean, you can still draw with this tablet. It's just that there is increased latency due to having to make the lines look smoother and straighter. The price difference uh, between these two tablets is quite significant. It's 180 US dollars. So in terms of value for money, I will still have to give it to the Xiaomi Pad 6. Um, yeah, so if you want something even more affordable, I guess you have to consider the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, which comes with the S Pen included, which has better pen performance than these two pens here. But that tablet, um, the specs for that tablet isn't as good compared to what you can get here. But of course, that tablet is also more affordable. So can I recommend the Xiaomi Pad 6 for drawing? Yes, but do note the limitations with the wobble and jitter and with brush smoothing. For the OnePlus Pad, I can also recommend this if you have more budget and if you prefer this aspect ratio. But you have to note the limitation with the pen as well, which has some issues uh, with tilt. Alright, I hope this video is useful. See you guys in the next one. Bye!